Okay, there is not this often that I get this excited about a software update. But guys, over the last several years as I've worked with digital planning, there's been certain things that I've wanted to see developed. Now, I've been a longtime user of the Surface Pro and OneNote. I use other annotation apps as well, but I've always gravitated towards OneNote because I'm able to use it across platforms. I can use it on my Windows device, my Apple computer, my iPad, and have it on my Android phone and be with me wherever I go. But there's certain times I just am frustrated with the lack of features and benefits that are available in some of the different platforms, especially on the iPad and the Apple operating system. But today, guys, they hit the mark. They did one of the three things that I'm so excited to share with you. Now, this is going to be a pro tip, a fun session. We're gonna talk about hyperlinking on the iPad using OneNote, and it's going to be a game changer for each and every one of you, so stay with me. So as we dive into it, guys, I'm Brandon Boner for creator and founder of the Key to Success Planning System. And over the last several years, we built a planning system that helps you grow personally and professionally. It works across several different devices, tons of different platforms for you so you can reach your dreams, get that vision in the sky, down the boots on the ground. I can tell you there's a few things that have always frustrated me and there's different features that I've wanted to see expressed in updates. One of those was side by side. They have one notebook open on one side of the screen and another notebook or the same notebook with a different on a different page open on a different side of the screen. Well, they haven't made that improvement yet, but we have a solution for you on that. We covered in a previous video, which we'll link above, about hyperlinking and how you can utilize this and connect your different appointments, connect your notes, your journaling, your projects, all into your digital planner. And we showed you some workarounds so you could be able to do that with the iPad by typing and connecting those hyperlinks. But the experience was not as easy and it just didn't feel native. Today, guys, I'm proud and excited to show you that this is now native to the app. And I'm gonna show you how you can use it to the next level. So first off, you guys see I have my digital planner right here. This is actually my live schedule for today. And you can see one of my big uh, three is getting this habit tracker and this iPad links uh, video up to date and charged for you guys. But also you can see I have these uh, individual calls that I have set up. You know, as always, I go through, I highlight a lot of stuff. I put a lot of notes in my planning system, but I've always wanted to be able to have my meetings along with me. Now, when I'm doing digital planning, for you guys that follow my system, you can see right here, I have a meeting with Brett and Ryan. If I click right here, I have a meeting template page already laid out for our meeting so I can start building notes, building an agenda, and getting the ideas and thoughts that I have for this meeting on paper right under the respective date. But there's other meetings that I have in my planning system that maybe I don't wanna have in my daily schedule. Maybe I'm working on a project and part of that project is I'm meeting with somebody about that project. Well, I wanna keep all the meetings together in that project and not in my daily planner, but I wanna be able to quickly access them through my digital planner. So if you can see that, I got a meeting with uh, Josh Lewis here, or John Lewis, my apologies, reading Josh Lewis, I should be reading John Lewis. But if I go ahead, I can tap on John Lewis, open, hit the open button, and it takes me to my meeting page, which is an entirely different part of my daily planner. Now, what's nice about this is I can make notes, I can uh, update that plan however I feel so, but I can easily then jump back to my daily planner and get to this date. I also have notes. So in my task list here, I have January 2022 videos. Guys, we're gonna start hitting the videos hard. Now that we got through the, the installs and meeting you guys all for the first time, we are gonna hit the pavement with videos as we're doing today. But those ideas, those projects, those tasks live and breathe in my planner. If I click on that, I can go ahead, I can open, and it can take me to a note page that is just full of notes about this project. That is so cool. It allows you to easily uh, go from one day to the next day and carry through notes. I have a lot of individuals, what they'll do is they will actually have note pages or to-do list or master projects or even routine tasks. We talk a lot about routines, right? Well, some people have a project list, maybe they use a habit tracker for that matter to help track that routine. 
and then they put a link to it every day in their daily task by simply copy and pasting that link into there. So that's really exciting. Okay, but now Brandon, you're asking me, I see it, it looks cool, it looks great. How do I do it? Well, I'm gonna show you. So first off, we're gonna jump into templates because we have tons of different templates that we provide in our planning system. And we're gonna go right to meeting. You can see the meeting page here. I'm gonna tap and hold and I'm gonna hit copy. Now I'm gonna copy this to quarter one under January. So now I'm gonna jump back to January, scroll to the bottom of my pages and you're gonna see my page I just copied in my planning system. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna retitle that and I'm just gonna type meeting with Tom. Okay, so I can go ahead, I'm just gonna do a squiggly line right here so you can see. Now, just like I was gonna copy it before, this time I'm gonna hit copy and you see copy link to page. When I do that, it creates a URL link to this page and it saves it to my clipboard. Now I can go ahead, hit done, go back up to the top and I'm gonna to go to January 11th and I'm gonna to say Tom and I are meeting at six o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead, tap and hold, hit paste, and then I'm gonna use my finger to put that right where I want it. And now my meeting with Tom is here. And I can go ahead and I can tap on meeting with Tom, hit open, and it takes me right to this page. So guys, we talked a lot about hyperlinks and being able to build a hyperlink systems so that you can navigate throughout the planning system. You can reach those heavy note sections, those projects, those meetings, those tasks to reach your goals and connect with your vision. You can now do that from the iPad. It's a huge update. It's one of the things on my bucket list that I was hoping would come to the iPad with OneNote and it's finally here. If you guys don't take a few minutes and test it out for yourself, you are truly missing out. And if you haven't, go ahead after this video and watch our master video on how to use hyperlinks because you can do it on your desktop and you can do it on other applications and devices just as easy. But for OneNote users on the iPad, guys, this is earth shattering because this is one thing that many of us, especially in PDF annotation apps, have wanted to see to be able to link to those notes. And one other pro tip, a lot of you guys will say to me, Brandon, I need more notes on that page. Well, great, do that. Go ahead, jump back to the templates, pick your note topic page, copy that, put it into your January date. And then what you can do is you can jump back to January, copy that link, and now roll up just to the top of the month to the day you're saying you need more notes on and tap and hold, and then you can have an additional note page connected. So you can go ahead, fill this whole page up with notes, and then have a continuation page so you can keep journaling on those days that you have heavy note taking. Guys, if you got anything out of this, please do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, even if you're not a follower of our planning system but wanna learn more about technology and devices, we cover it all for digital planning as well as just getting the most use out of these investments, these products in our lives so we can maximize our vision and success. I'm Brandon Bondorfer, creator and founder of the Key to Success Planning, and God willing, guys, I hope to see you in the next one as we embark on this journey together.